strung means to me. It came, I came up with it uh, in the military. Before every mission, I would tell my guys, my squad, we would go head strong to live long. And that kind of stuck with me uh, when I got out of the military and it, to keep um, approaching obstacles and speed bumps throughout life. It's all about your perception. As long as you stay positive, think about your goals, be headstrong, stay focused, and you'll get where you want to go. My name is Nick Lydon and I'm a coach here at Headstrong Fit. I am passionate about fitness because I've always invo been involved in sports and from the beginning of high school all the way through my collegiate career uh, playing football, I've always believed in working hard and that, believe that the effort that you put in uh, will dictate the results that you will get. So I've taken that from what I've learned from my sports and athletic background into now my personal fitness life and coaching style. So I'm here to help motivate and guide you to your own personal fitness goals. I started training when I was around 10 or 11 years old and I would go into the garage after my brothers got done working out for high school football and I would try to try to lift what they did every night. It didn't work out so well every time but I fell in love with it. I was pretty overweight growing up and it forced me to learn. Um, since then I've competed in bodybuilding, powerlifting, crossfit, Olympic weightlifting and what I wanted to do is just take the best of everything I've learned in all, all of those aspects of fitness including sports specific training, athletic performance and basically jamming all into one hour of class. With this gym, I want it to feel very welcoming, very at home. Headstrong Fit is your home gym. And it's where we bridge the gap between human performance and proper movement. I'm Robbie McLaughlin. I believe in fitness. <laughs>many different movements and many different planes of movement um, we like to enforce torque and stability in all of these movements and the importance of that not just in the gym but throughout the rest of the day I always say it's it's great that you pay attention to us as coaches in the gym but how do you move throughout the rest of the day one of the major movements that we preach upon and coach is the squat and I like to start from the ground up when I'm coaching the squat so I want you to think about externally rotating your femurs so all that is is out externally corkscrewing your feet into the ground. From there, you're gonna establish a torso angle by pushing your hips back. All of the, at the same time, squeezing your abs. What your abs are gonna do is protect your lower back, keeping your spine as a two by four. As you establish that angle by pushing your hips back, all you have to do is lower at this point. Now, it doesn't really matter what type of squat you're doing, overhead squat, front squat, goblet squat, any of those, the motion of it stays the same. The, where the external load is, that might play a different role. For instance, a back squat, you wanna pull that bar down onto you, activating your upper back and your lats. That'll protect your shoulders and give the bar a stable platform to sit on so it's not too loose. Um, next, we talk about a hinge. This is picking anything up off the ground. This is exactly what it sounds like. You're letting your pelvic bone swivel and hinge. What you need to do for that is internal rotation, that internal torque, kind of like pulling a mat inward with your feet. Now, that doesn't mean letting your knees cave in. That's called displacement of torque. Um, if you did internal torque and let your knees cave in, then it'd be kind of defeating the purpose. With that being said, as you get a good stance, good jumping stance, internal torque, that will activate your obliques, protecting your lower back, and again, letting your pelvic bone pivot. Again, squeezing your abs, 
hinging over till you find tension in your hamstrings and come back up. You do this with a good morning, a deadlift, an RDL, a stiff legged deadlift, or anything you're picking up off the ground. When we go into pressing movements, overhead or a bench press, you want to think about your lats being the, the engine behind the movement. Your lats will control how the bar moves down towards your body and pressing back up away from you. Every time you press, it's an internal torque movement of your shoulders. What that is, is activating your chest muscles and your lats. As you lower the bar down towards you, we like to tell people to externally rotate because that's what we do for pulls, but the main the main, the most important part of that is the press. Okay, not letting your elbows flare out or stick too close to you. Activating your lats as much as possible. Internal rotation of your shoulders and press up. This goes the same for overhead press. All in all, everything we do in here, we want to make it an ab workout. So every movement we do in here, abs, abs, abs. That's what's going to protect our core, our spine, our central nervous system.